Greetings, salutations, respect, and love. Oh, I am Scott, and you are in the Prague Corner. And today, I'm going to go over the 10 best riffs in the history of Prague rock because heavy metal and classic rock aren't the only people that can have great riffs in their music. In fact, Prague was built on a single riff if you if you really want to break it down uh but i'm gonna go over the 10 greatest riffs i'm gonna butcher them on on guitar here uh i apologize in advance i'm i haven't been playing a whole lot lately but i just i i didn't want to you know get in any copyright trouble so i figured i'd just uh you know give you an example of the riffs i'm talking about here at number 10 from the biggest selling prog album of all time it's money. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's pretty basic. It's that seven, eight time. It goes all the way through the song and it's just terrific. At number eight, no, number nine, we're going north of the border. Uh, in honor of my Rush video that I just did, it's Spirit of the Radio. Doesn't sound quite as good on a nylon string guitar as it does on electric with the with the flanger and everything, but uh, yeah, Spirit of the Radio, what a great riff that is at number nine. No, number eight. I can't. What the hell is wrong with me? Jeez, oh man, this thing's in uh, G sharp minor, and it goes something like this. Yeah. Something like that, Steve Howe's great riff in Heart of the Sunrise. You know, maybe it was lifted a little bit from King Crimson, whatever. At number seven, I'm staying with Steve Howe. And uh, this riff that made the members of Asia super rich. Yeah, heat of the moment for sure. At number six... Uh, is it really a riff? I don't know, but, uh, it's the greatest thing in the history of mankind. Yeah, it's Apocalypse in 9-8, something like that. You know the riff, you know what it does. Um, yeah, is it a riff? Is it actually a riff? Is it a lick? Is it a pedal point? I don't care. Doesn't really matter. And number five, I'm talking about Kansas and the song with more riffs in it than uh, you know, should be allowed by law. It's uh, Carry On Wayward Son. <laughs> And then it's got this thing. And then it's got this thing. What is it? Just amazing. Rip after rip after rip. It's just incredible. But, you know... Riffs don't have to be played on guitar. There can be keyboard riffs too, right? And uh, probably one of my favorite is in 5-4 uh, from Keith Emerson. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know what it is. It's Tarkus. That amazing figure that's played. I'm playing it here on the keyboard because it's actually harder to play on bass. I don't know how Greg Lake did it. It's really great, uh, Tarkus. At number three, yeah, the riff that started it all. It's 21st Century Schizoid Man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> 21st century schizoid man at number three. At number two, you could probably guess what this might be. Uh, it's one of the greatest riffs ever. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Even Family Guy knows this one. It's Aqualung. What a strange little progression there, but it's amazing. It's one of the best riffs ever written. It sticks in your head forever. And at number one, this is the coolest riff I have ever heard in my entire life. I just love it. Hocus Pocus from Focus uh, in A, and it goes like this. <laughs> What's so cool about it is the first go around has all these jazz chords, and then the second go around is power chords. So it's uh, uh, and then it's uh, E minor seventh, then F major seventh, then C major seventh, B flat major seventh, and then the Hendrix chord. But then the second time they do it, they use power chords. Listen again. Just amazing. My favorite riff of all time. I think I've done enough butchering of songs for one day. Yeah, man, I guess I just need to practice. But that's my top 10 favorite prog riffs ever. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did not. <laughs> anyway, peace and love, my friends. I'll see you guys soon.